keeping an eye on your health and a possible explanation if you just can't seem to shed some unwanted weight. It could be your medication. Some very common prescription drugs are known to pack on the pounds. Scientists have seen the side effects in people taking mood stabilizers and anti-seizure medications. Plus, hypertension drugs can also cause weight gain. A new study of children with autism finds therapy can improve social and communication skills. Researchers saw the results in a study of 7,000 children called bloomers. They had communication problems early on but made big gains or bloomed during their elementary school years. Doctors say this underscores the importance of getting children help at a young age. Former Vice President Dick Cheney is out of the hospital. Doctors performed a heart transplant on the 71-year-old 10 days ago. He has had five heart attacks since 1978. In a statement, Cheney's family thanked the doctors for his care and they thanked the donor who made the heart available. New research suggests that finding breast cancer early is not always better. Norwegian scientists estimate that as many as one quarter of breast cancers found in routine mammograms would not have caused problems, yet those tumors were often treated anyway. And they suspect that women here in the United States often are the most overdiagnosed. American women get screened at an earlier age and often more often than women in Norway in that study. Jeff? Well, the key to stopping the spread of cancer could be in your kitchen right now because researchers say baking soda can actually have an effect on reducing the spread of tumors. Teresa Jun shows us how. So right here is a hole in the bone showing the metastasis. As Dr. Marty Pagel shows us on this x-ray image of a cancer-stricken mouse, tumors that start in one part of the body can often spread to other parts, in this case, the bones. That's because growing tumors produce acid, which destroys nearby tissue and allows the tumor to spread. So if we can combat that acid that the tumors are producing, uh, that could uh, actually lead to uh, further cures for cancer. So one way of doing that is uh, with baking soda. Baking soda, by its very nature, Nature neutralizes acids, and it's become the focal point of Dr. Pagel's cancer fighting research. We've tested uh, that type of therapy uh, in a number of uh, animal models uh, that have different cancers, and we've seen a decrease in the number of tumors that they have, and it prolongs the survival. But before you get any ideas about trying this at home, researchers caution it's not a one size fits all solution. A certain uh, patients that have different kidney functions clear that baking soda from their system at different rates, and so it becomes very dangerous. If they're taking too much baking soda, they can burn out their kidneys or their uh, bladder. Or if they're not taking enough, then there is no therapeutic effect. So finding that right balance for each patient is what Dr. Pagel's new research will involve. Thanks to a sophisticated new MRI technique that allows personalized monitoring of acid levels in a patient, he hopes to pinpoint just what effect baking soda has on cancer tumors one patient at a time. In fact, we like to call that personalized medicine. If we can tailor the medicine for each individual patient, then we can have a personalized cure. By the way, the study on baking soda is ongoing at the University of Arizona.